Before getting into today's episode, we'd like to thank Mac Performance PT for sponsoring the Walk On Pod. For more on their services and contact information, click the link in our Instagram bio where you will be led to their website. Mac Performance PT, helping Sacramento athletes live life without limits. Testing one two one two. Thank you for tuning back in to the Walk On Pod. <laughs> I'm your host, Tommy Ball. I actually like that. Let's keep, keep that. that. In. I like that. Let's keep that. Hey guys, uh, stealing my whole flow. Um, all right, I guess we're here then. Luke, you got the here, outro then. today, bro. Walk yeah, On Pod. Guess, we're live, man. I guess we're you here. Know, we're gonna hit. We're, we're gonna hit straight on the scouting report. Let's ride. I'm doing the intro today because I want to. Episode 61, Friday night, and I'm feeling good. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Um, Let's get right into it. Let's get into the damn uh, crawdads. Let's get into them. Yeah, what you – curious, guys. So Uh, here's my thing with crawdads. Um, I think in the – in comparison to Safe Haven, it was better. It was a yeah, slow, what? way better. It was a it's a slow, slow burn. Slow, slow, slow movie. And I'll say this. I can tell that the book was ten times better, just based off what the story was and based off if it if it's as good of a book as what people are saying it is, that means the writer is very good. You can tell that the book was a lot better than the movie. Um it was slow. It was very slow. Um like literally when you thought it was gonna pick up, it just kinda fizzled out. Yeah. And uh, you know, nice little feel good uh, epiphany at the end, I guess, if you will. And then uh, you know, and then and then and then they kind of dropped the bomb on you, and then that's it. And I just feel like it wasn't, you know, it it just kind of left me wanting more. Uh, to me, that wasn't it. a bomb, but I don't want to interrupt. No, I don't think it was a bomb, but it was the bomb, uh, I guess. If yeah, you say. I guess yeah, that's true. Okay, it was yeah, it was. It was. So it was what's your bomb. what what's your uh, what's your rating here? I'm gonna. So I don't remember what I gave Safe Haven. I don't think I gave it much, if anything. But okay, I'm gonna it's give, definitely a better movie than Safe Haven. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a a room and board and book scholarship. A room and board and That's book valid. scholarship. That's valid. For sure, okay. a slow burn movie. So I also also from insider sources. Shout out to Mama Abdo. She said that after she's read the book and watched the movie, she said that the movie left out a ton of significant details that added to the storyline that made it a lot more interesting and a lot more riveting. And that makes a lot of sense after watching the movie. So I can see that. Yeah. Um, I could see can, it. I could see how it's a good book. Yeah. I think it, it, in, you know, like when, when writers are really good at stringing along a story and, and getting you involved, like with the courthouse scenes and all that stuff, like I feel like you can tell that it would be a really good book if written well, which it was obviously because yeah. they turned it into a movie. So uh, that's where that was my thoughts on the movie, Jared. Uh, go ahead. So, uh, the one thing, like, yeah, I, I kind of, you can, uh, everything you guys said was correct. I, I really feel like they could have, I would have rather had them spend more, make the movie longer, and spend more time developing her character as the Marsh girl, because clearly that was like a huge theme in the book, but was never like really depicted. Well, yeah. I feel like, um, but anyway, it was just kind of like, like it was kind of like thrown like, at you, and then thing. like you had yeah. to know, yeah, yeah, like oh, that's yeah. her, but like you don't really understand, like they didn't dive into it well enough. There's no like, specific definitely... stories yeah. per se. And then I was... also think I haven't read the book, but my guess is they probably go way into the whole uh, relationship with the fo- with the other guy, with the Crawford guy, right? I think that was his name, Chase right. Crawford. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Andrews? I don't remember. And, it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So my other question is, I have a burning question. Tommy, what what's what's going on with your movie preferences, man? I'm just I'm curious. Is like, are these movies that you like are in? No, 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 no. I told you, I told you, my mom had me watch this one. With this it. was a Stacy special. Yeah. Oh man, I was like, man, this guy Tommy, man, what kind of movies does he watch by it's himself? Just slow. <laughs> You know, like no, no, like, no, no. I would have never watched that. I actually put that movie off for for okay. months, and right. Stacy had me watch that. I, I mean, Safe Haven. Bad. 
Safe Haven's yeah. just fire. Like, 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 come on, guys. It's Safe yeah. Haven. I didn't watch alone. I was with the guys when we watched that movie. That's anyway. even worse. That makes yeah. it even worse. That might be worse. <laughs> with the guys. Yeah. Tom, I'm Tom, transparent did... on this podcast, fellas. Ain't Tom, no shame I feel in like... my game. I feel like you it's have like yeah your t- your TV touch is is definitely on point, but some of these movies I'm just like oh man. man, I'm just trying to find the motivation. But I do have another thing, and Tommy, this is nothing against you. I'm not trying to rain on your parade. I just want to let you know this isn't a parade of mine, guys. <laughs> no, no. Well, I don't know. This was another one of your movie picks of sad, slow, uh, twist love story thing. I'm listening. What? What Luke? Jared's throwing me. Jared's throwing me two of the like craziest uh, movies. Like first off, whatever Warrior that was horrible. Thirteenth Warrior, yeah. I'm I I can own it. I can own it. Uh, and after my take on American History X, everyone has told me it is a good movie, but they get where I was coming from. Um, Yeah, and that was just for for what I'm doing on this segment of the podcast. I couldn't. It's your program, man. You got to make sure you get the right guys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so for for yeah, Tommy's Tommy's ventured, and then was this was Trainwreck a that was my pick? No, that was me pick. Yeah, I took that. that Yeah, Yeah, okay. So that was that was the only. So if we're taking the three technically romance movies, right? Yeah, Trainwreck was cool. It was more slapstick comedy than anything. It was cool. Then the other two were duds. Now Jared's two off the off the. I actually gave you. Ones. I gave you another romance movie, Garden State. I gave you Garden State. Okay, I mean, yeah, that was romance, but I feel like that was more coming of age. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, yeah, we're not a. Uh, yeah, we're like, we're like, not. I feel like you guys hit you guys hit the fastballs. Like when when you know the pitch is coming, when you guess when you guess pass and you got your edge rusher All off right. the edge. But but here's but here's hit. the. Th- but here's the thing, though. Romance movie, yeah. you really want a good romance movie, but, but I'm here's not here the thing, to just give you freaking bangers. Yeah, but no, but not, here's but, the, also the other thing too, though, Luke, and because I'm coming to Tommy's defense here. No, it's before you get, you, you guys get, are my scouts. Get, okay, but the ones that are good, you've seen. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, like, like, no, no, that, like I can't it, just, I, I can't it, just it, give him crazy, stupid love. No, but, like what, no, but what I'm saying, I haven't seen that. But what I'm saying is, oh, that'd be a um, great give. Yeah, that's a good one. No, we can't. I don't want to do two. I don't want to do two of these in a row. But I mean, again, it's <laughs> no, no, no. That is yeah, that is actually an amazing movie. Like, yeah, you would amazing love that movie. movie. You would love that movie. But we're not going to give you that movie. I'm going to give you. Be down I'm going to give you a different. Like this no, one is going to be feel good. What I'm saying it's like you're like yeah. You either you've seen it and it's a blockbuster hit, or I know of it and I know it's gonna be good before watching it, or I'm gonna test something over here, and then you guys don't hit on those. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not you true. Some testers. No, but see, look, here's the thing though. For you to be a great head coach, man, you have to have good awareness of what's good and bad. And so sometimes we have to throw some duds out there to make sure uh, that you uh, understand that like. Yeah, that's not think, what we want on our program. I don't think Crawdads was a dud, though. I don't think. Crawdads no, I'm not. I'm not hating on the movie. It's just funny because it was in such safe haven fashion of <laughs> slow <laughs> burn. Of, yeah. Can we? Can the, we? Can I clarify something? I'm not watching these movies by myself. Bro, the safe haven. All right. Thing? I don't sit here and watch these movies by myself. <laughs> I think what All made right. safe haven. Okay. Thank worse. you for clearing that up. <laughs> yeah. I think what made safe. These are movies that worse. I have seen that I. The ghost yeah, element I, made safe haven worse, uh, bro. The acting was yeah the awful. ghost oh crazy. yeah okay the girl out the of girl like an elementary school play, yeah the, the crawdads like, the crawdads girl was a good actress she yeah, did good she, she yeah, did good yeah, I was a, she did good yeah yeah I, I, I will give the, her that the first yeah. boyfriend was named Tate I thought he was a yeah. good actor too I no he, he was he good played the part well and then the two store owners I thought they were they killed it too yeah oh yeah they were and awesome. even the well and the dude that plays lawyer he's a great actor he's in tons of stuff yeah he did a great job you know that yeah we're leveling up. Love um. So for this week, uh, oh, actually, before I move on, oh, Tom, Tom gave the Babadook too. That was a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. That was so bad. Oh man. Hey, hey, look. But see, here's the thing, though, Luke. Like, if we're good assistant coaches, we have to make sure we're keeping you on your toes because, like, Hell if you came I'm back and gave you Babadook, yeah, dude, if you, if you, you Babadook, gave Babadook was, was a full ride, like, Holy. I would be looking for new jobs. I would be putting my resume in. Yeah. Well, we look. This isn't that episode, but that conversation, we could have that conversation. What's your pick? What's your pick? Okay, so no, actually, I have one other piece. I I don't want to make Tommy too sad here, Um, but this is going to be short. Tommy, I watched The Last of Us. It's not good. 
Oh, it's not good. Jared, but here's the thing: is I don't think I don't I don't think that's a popular opinion. I think most people thought it was really. Good. I know, but like if you've seen The Walking Dead, then you cannot possibly think that The Last of Us is good. Yeah, I mean, I, I it's already been that. recycled. That's been recycled over and over again, and you could tell the, where the, the love, holes, the holes the, from the video game to turning it into a TV show were very apparent. Yeah, I was just gonna say that's where the love came from. I don't know. I binged the yeah. hell out of it. I had a good no, time watching I'm, that I'm, show. I'm I'm not mad at that. Like, it just was like so predictable, I guess. But that's because the zombie genre has been done over and over and over again. A yeah. Times. And and HBO is we talked about it before. HBO is literally floundering right now. Like, Euphoria is not coming back. The writers are on strike. Like, they have nothing to cling to. So they had to find a built-in like fan base to get a show because like their numbers killed and they had a ton of Emmy nominations and the cinematography is amazing. You didn't like, like any of it? Uh, It was okay. The what episode there was like the second to last episode was good. Um, uh, When they, but like there like, were a couple very strong episodes. There were like a couple two, weak ones, but like, okay. At the end, like, okay. Yeah. Obviously this dude, like, well, I don't want, I don't know. It's just, I mean the bad guy, it's very obvious what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's just like there's only so many ways you can cut the piece of pie, right? I'm not mad at you for not liking it. I think, yeah, yeah I mean, I think HBO, just like the HBO Walking is definitely in a tough spot. The Walking Dead just beat them to all that. You know what I mean? Like the yeah, Walking that was Dead years ago too, right? Years ago, like, and the other thing. This is my only other thing, and then I'm moving on to the movie. Like, you can't the way they told the story. Maybe that's how it is in the video game, but you can't find any emotional connection with the characters. Because they don't develop them, they just kill them in the same episode. Yeah, like the little yeah. boy and his brother. Like you could have really developed them into like good characters yeah. and let them. Like you should have done that episode on episode two or three. Let them live out for three episodes, and then when what happened happened, you would feel a, a different emotion. But like, and that was a big slow burn in the video game. If yeah. I'm not yeah. wrong, which I could Im- I can imagine because that's a great storyline for that to happen. Uh-huh. No, I, I I agree with that honestly. Yeah. I agree yeah. With that Anyways, take. uh, so the movie I have for you, Luke, this is real feel good, like great acting, slapstick, everything you want. I'm giving you best in show. All right. Like All right. Best for, in uh, show. Movie movie for me too. Best in show. I haven't seen. Can it. I get you, one name in there? Uh, Eugene Levy. Uh, best Parker Posey. In show. Um, Buster oh, Posey, you said. No, Parker Posey. Buster Posey, man. <laughs> no. uh, the Giants were in the like news when you today. Look, when you look at the the oh man, it's a star-studded cast. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite movies. Two thousand. Oh, this this is a dog pageantry. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. I can tell this. Is it's be so good. It's so best funny. in show. Oh my god, I'm excited. So my Christopher it. Christopher Guest is the director he plays in the movie oh i know who eugene levy is he's great yeah. yes i know he's, he's he was in america like Pie. mike yes oh hell yeah yes okay. it's amazing it's we so funny in. i know who fred willard is too yeah, yeah. he's yeah he's, oh it's a good cast oh yeah, yeah i told you i'm here for it i'm here for it yeah yeah, Kalen right, will cool. Kalen will really resonate. A lot of shits Creek is this, actors is this, in this. Is this cheaper by the dozen, Eugene oh, yeah. Levy? Yes, yes. Hell yeah, cheaper by the dozen two. That is. That's a um, good the movie lake right house. There. The lake house. Yeah, one. yeah that's no. a special movie. Best in show. Oh man, the opening scene. Oh, dude, you're gonna be. Right, don't dying. spoil it, bro. You're I'm gonna be sorry. dying. I'm just telling you, you're gonna be dying. You should watch it tonight. That won't happen. Um, yeah, it's a little late here. Fellas, uh, let's let's reel it back in. NBA season is 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 getting closer, and uh, boom, Damian Lillard is a Milwaukee Buck. Um, how are we feeling? What are our thoughts? What are we? What, what's the chatter? About I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let Tom go because I haven't heard his thoughts yet. I know where he's gonna take it. Actually, <sighs> no, I, I I I have no reason to take it there. Um, I don't know, man. I think I like it, but I'm not sure. I mean, I saw a stat that it says that this is the first time, like, there were two 30-point scores in the league, and then now they're on the same team the next season. They got traded year. the next season, yeah. Yeah, so that, I mean, it's pretty crazy. I think it's exci- It's going to be exciting to see Dame around 
a team of that caliber. So I definitely, I mean, obviously I think they're the favorite in the East, but I don't know. It's, it's hard. It's hard to say. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. I think Dame will be really good for them, but can they guard on the perimeter? I think that's the question. They have good rim protection. They have really good rim protection. I don't think but, it matters. Is the answer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it does either, but their point of attack defense is so weak now. Yeah, but, that would be my only critique of them, but I mean, I'm I'm searching for a critique. Like yeah, I I, mean, I think I they just, have such a loaded roster now, and if Giannis is Giannis, that's that's pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. The thing the thing that I think separates putting Giannis with Dame, like I think, what's gonna allow these two superstars to work is Dame is going to be just as good of a player off the ball for what Giannis does on the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you put Kyrie next to Giannis, it wouldn't work because Ky- obviously Kyrie's good off the ball, but he's not what Dame is off the ball. You know what I mean? Yeah, Dame, so, like, Dame's, a, Dame's a real crazy catch-and-shoot threat. It's 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 going to be a problem. Now Chris Middleton's your third option. That's No, I like it a lot. I like yeah, it a lot. Scary. I mean, as a as a Warriors fan, I don't like it, but as a basketball fan, I'm excited to see it. Uh, Jared, what do you, what do you got to say, man? Um, I think everything you guys said was correct. I, I, to me, it makes them like let's just say across the board, everyone's healthy, like every team healthy. I think it puts them as the favorites to win, just mm-hmm. simply based on the fact two twofold. One, Giannis has never had a dynamic point guard like that. That like that command like can command the offense, if that makes sense. Mm. They always kind of have like a piece together point guard, right? Like, or yeah, bled so. yeah, Drew Holiday, the point guard, right? You know what I mean? Or like a Javon Carter last year, and they weren't healthy last year. Yeah. That's the first thing. And I also think the second thing is that like, they're just the amount of pressure they're going to put on teams to like, to score and play defense. Like, Kind of like like Lou said, the defense isn't going to like matter that much because of all the rim protection. Like, I, I don't know. I think and, you and run. You just got to. They just got to run teams off the line and then and run to Brooke. Funnel it bro, to bro, Brooke. Run to Brooke. And Giannis, they're gonna, and Giannis they're gonna, will clean everything up. Bro, yeah, just play percentages. And, and if you want to pull up and shoot contested mid rangers, cool. Like, yeah. And the third, the second thing is, uh, or the third thing, sorry, is that. Chris Middleton is a very underrated perimeter defender, and I think he'll pick up the slack. Where yeah. and now that he doesn't have to be number two, like Chris Middleton being the premier perimeter defender and the number two scoring option, that's super tough. But being the premier perimeter defender and the third scoring option, I feel like that's just going to let him play into a role that like is going to be such a smooth transition for him. Yeah, and yeah, and, and, and Dame's really going to be trade. ultra motivated, right? Like that's like. This is it, bro. This is this is your last chance. If you don't win one, you're not gonna win one. Yeah. What is you he, probably 32? have a two well, you have a two year window with this team. Because yeah. Giannis's extension will be up in two years. Uh, you know, I mean Brooks signed a two or three year deal. Like this is pretty much it. I mean, what but, a what an elite play from that front office though. Giannis really said if they if I'm if Milwaukee's not the best option to win, I'm leaving. And they said, "Yeah, let me go get you, Damian Lillard." Yeah, and it's like you know what's really interesting though too. Like, and it, this always happens this way. All the extra shit that's coming out now, like where they yeah. like the old like they told Dame to sit the last ten games so they could ensure that they got a top two pick, and like like all the other stuff that like well, came they, out, and like how they cut that, off the talk with the Heat. Yeah. And that the Heat offered them a sh- a ton of draft picks. And did you see the one where Dame was like saying, like, when the trade, like, I want to trade, uh, stuff came out that he said, like, if we can't get it done, I want to come back to Portland. And they said, yeah, no, you can't come back. Like that, right? That changes the way that you looked at forcing a trade. Is you know what I mean? Yeah, right. It's exactly. Crazy. Yeah, like he essentially gave them an option to come back. Like he wasn't really trying to leave unless it was Miami, and they're like, nah, we're getting rid of you. Yeah, like you, you but but see, I mean, the it, it, they really didn't give up anything. Like that was it was such a good trade for them. Well, I don't know. Drew's a big give. He's really he is, but like for Dame, that's it. Yeah. Well, and I also think like uh, the interesting part too is like how the Suns like really. I think they got better. I'm not sure, but I think they got I think better. So. 
because like they had no bench. So it's like you got four players to get rid of a guy that you didn't even want. And it's and like what Aiden, is what is, oh, what is Nurkic going to not do that Aiden did do that's going to help them win? You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't like love Nurkic, Nurkic doesn't play them. defense, but yeah, no, exactly. but like but but on that Suns team, bro, like he didn't need to do anything besides sit down there and rebound and that's all they were mad at Aiden for not doing. Like literally. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, Aiden fair. wanted post ups, and Nurkic doesn't really care Who about. Cares? The he'll set a screen, bro. He'll literally go set screens and rebound. But but cool. then they also got they got some other good pieces that will just like I mean I don't like Grayson Allen, but like he definitely will help them. Coming off the bench, that's gonna help. Yeah, I think I think the other thing too is like it's interesting that like I think it will be a good return for or a good starting spot for Aiden, but like. I feel like he's going to run into the same problems there where like Anthony Simons and, and Scooter are going to shoot the ball and he's going to get mad because he's not getting post touches and they're going to be terrible. It's not like they're going to be on a winning franchise. So yeah. it's like, does he just go into you like, you got Jeremy obscurity? Grant there too. Jeremy Grant. Oh God, that's Jeremy right. Grant he signed takes a lot of shots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His. Huh? I said they got chuckers over there. Man. And what yeah. do they do with, what do they do with Drew? Oh, they're gonna Trade move for CP3. Yeah. Oh God, shut up. I mean, I don't. Shut up, okay. bro. I'd be okay with it. I don't think that's Stop. gonna happen though. Stop pushing that narrative. What narrative? I'm you just know saying, what I'm I talking about. It, I saw it a couple times on on. Yeah. Okay. And... Yeah. What was it? Butt crack sports or what? No, that that was like there was. It, it was, was like... probably Warriors Twitter that was like we should try to get get off of CP. For it was like that. But it was like that would be so dumb for the Blazers. Someone just There's said, no way they would do that. Someone just said that the Warriors could form a package, but like they've been doing so much PR about how the veterans are working together. And yeah, they have who nice really trading, needs to go get who really ne- Chris Paul would be such a bad look for that organization. Oh, no, I disagree. Um, you know who needs to go get Drew is freaking the Mavericks need to go get Drew. That's who needs yeah, to go get Drew. That's a good take, actually. <laughs> like that's they who needs to talk go about, get Drew. Talk about perimeter defense. Yeah, what? Was, yeah. <laughs> the Mavericks should be making a phone call on hour every hour until they can yeah. figure it out. That's actually a really good, good deal. Take. Yeah. Um, like, because like you saw Kyrie was like, yeah, I'm excited to like get back together with Luca. I was like, yeah, so like you don't get the be, be the only one blamed for not playing defense. <laughs> Yeah, people, there was, he said, like, what did he say? I wish uh, I was drafted to the Mavs uh, as a rookie. And then they were like, um, I I grew up a Nets fan. My my parents met in, in Boston, and now I wish I was drafted to Dallas. So everyone was like, we've heard this story before, man. Like, <laughs> Yeah, bro, dude's going to make it probably to the All-Star break. Even after he just signed, do you think someone's going to take on that contract? Uh, I mean, dumber Someone things have will. happened. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me call my favorite guy up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's NBA man. Who knows? Um, um I also think uh, this is the, not to spend too much time on this, but I also think it. I like I like the move because it like it it puts so much pressure on Philly to do something. They suck. That that was literally like a game <laughs> of chicken, right? Like, like now it's like looking at like. And bro, tell me you saw James Harden was in the club and had the bottle yeah, roll holding up the side. Daryl Morey's a liar. I don't believe in anything Philadelphia related. But that's what I'm saying though, that it makes it that's why the NBA is such good dramas because like yeah. what was the like, what was the Tyrese Maxi thing too, Jared? Oh, so uh Tommy, I don't think you knew this. So when the trade uh happened, um the Dame trade, right? Mm-hmm. This dude, so uh, people in my uh, football, fancy football group are in that, in those circles. And on his, on Tyrese Maxey's close story or close friend's story on IG said, peace out, Philly. Oh, shit. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> and then like everybody was freaking out. And then like an hour later is now nah, just playing. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> That's funny as hell. But like that's what I'm saying. Like it's like a big game. Yeah, Philadelphia of chicken. is not a serious place, though. I mean, right. anyone but, with James Harden on their roster, you're not serious in 2023. I'm sorry. But what I'm saying is like that. What's what now? It's like it literally. You just put the like. You just it was like a shot across the board. Like, like bro, you guys are gonna get swept if you don't do anything. Your team is yeah. bad. Like same thing with yeah. the Celtics. Like what are the Celtics I was do? Say, now? About yeah. I was just gonna <laughs> say they just got rid of Marcus Smart, man. They don't. Who's gonna? 
I guess they can still throw Jason Tatum on them or Jalen Brown, but still. Yeah, like and like no. Miami is always just gonna be like overachieving. Like I don't feel like why, why do why do they always just like do that? They just, they just have the playoffs. Maybe. They have they have so like weird. good like Heat they culture, have maybe. good yeah good enough players to like match up and then. Jimmy's just like I don't know. He just like wills them to win. I also think they and get some. Just, fluke, like, they get some the like fluky stuff ever, though. though. Yeah, they get some fluky stuff though that happens. Like if Chris Middleton's healthy last year, they probably get beat. Yeah. So that was crazy. I, I think it's you uh, Tyler Hero talking crazy on Twitter oh, too. That was funny. Yeah, that was funny as hell. He said he said he's gonna buy a Dame jersey. I did, yeah, and, yeah. and then he was like, he was like, at least for they were like Tyler Hero stays, and he quoted it. He was like, at least for one more year or something like that. Like, yeah. bro, yeah. what do you want? Yeah, no, my favorite part of this whole thing is someone I saw on Twitter, bro. Less than an hour after the trade, this guy DeAndre Ayton had already changed his jersey on two K. Two K. Yeah, I saw that. He's hilarious. He, they said he was happy as hell to get out of there. Yeah, oh, yeah he's been he trying to get so, out of there. He was so giddy in that freaking the Trailblazers like posted a video today. He was so excited in it. Yeah, even though he's like he's he's gonna get there and it's gonna be the same thing with instead of he's winning fifty. Yeah, instead of winning fifty five games, yeah, he's gonna win twenty five games, <laughs> eighteen games. Yeah. yeah. Good luck to uh, them, man. Anthony but, Simon's oh, gonna get his buckets though. I, I'm uh I'm glad that like I'm I'm just glad that that Dame is gonna have a shot at it. Like now we don't need to hear that narrative of like, oh I I stayed down and I like I was loyal and I never won and like that's why like I I'm all for being loyal and all that. But like, all right, bro, like you're playing with the best player in the league probably right now. Yeah, like he ran from like, the grind. Yeah. Thank like, you. Yeah, like uh so I mean you I mean they should win. Let's be real. They should yeah, win. That's what I think. I mean, I think yeah. they're the favorite. <laughs> if they if I mean, yeah, cuz if they don't All things the across the board they're healthy so. like yeah. If everyone's yeah. healthy across the board, it's going to be them or the Nuggets again. Yeah. yeah we'll see, man. We'll see. Uh Yeah, man, in closer we'll have a uh, you know more more input on NBA stuff as it gets here. Um, let's talk fantasy real quick. Quick updates, just quick updates. We don't need to ramble too much here because I know we want to get into our starting five for the majority of this one as well. Um, Tommy, do you want to give an update at all or anything? I think you're moving in the right direction this week. I'll say that. Um, I mean, I, my team performed last week. I, we just ran into a monster who put up two hundred points. Like I was. I put up 150 points and I still lost by 50. So I'm 0 3 in that league. I, uh, I I don't know why. I mean, I like my roster. I think it's good. Joe you made Burrow some good just, moves this week. I think you made some yeah, good moves this week, honestly. I made a trade this week. I traded um I traded away Calvin Ridley, Brees Hall, and one more piece. I'm blanking. Who was the other piece? It was uh, um, DJ Moore. It was DJ, DJ Moore, Moore, Brees Hall, yeah. and Calvin Ridley. I got Alvin Kamara, Deshaun Watson, because I need a quarterback. While well, Joe Burrow s- sleepwalks through the season, and uh, Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers, yeah. Which is which is I'm a I'm a fan of his. So and then I this. picked up Tank Dell off the waivers. So I've got some pieces in the right direction. I play uh I play our guy, our commissioner Carter Mahaney. Um. He uh, to get me, apparently. yeah. I mean, Luke's kind of the villain of the league right now. You for know? no reason, for no reason. I may or may not have those messages taped to my wall right now, showing them my team daily. But that's neither here nor there. I, but um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a villain for any right reason. Like I'm just people don't <laughs> like greatness. I think, and that's all right. I don't. You're a two-time you know, champ. I get you, it. Yeah, yeah, you might be saying that, but you know, you came at my camp, and and I didn't yeah. like that. I I simply said. There's two managers who could be 0 and 3, and there's a looming punishment. That was it. A looming punishment that happens to be 12 weeks away. Right. No, it's a long way away. I was just wondering where your head was at. But and you and you responded. You made some moves. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, 0 and 3. You know, we're gonna rip off a win streak here, though. I'm confident. I respect it. Uh, Jared, you got any? Um. Yeah. Uh, one and two, had a tough two weeks. I got 
I got blitz this week. I put up 130. Devontae Adams put up a 40 ball on Sunday night football. That hurt. Um, you know, my league is there's a lot of uh there's a lot of controversy in my league right now. There's the last three years, there's been one very controversial trade that has actually just been the league winning decider uh, last two years. Yeah. So we'll see if this one is uh, somebody ended up with somehow had Tyree kill and ended up with Jamar chase. Uh, so uh, we'll see after coming off of 35 point Jamar chase week. So I almost had Nick Chubb and Jamar Chase in my camp and the trade got vetoed and then Nick Chubb got out for the year. So, well, so it saved you, saved you right there. Yeah. Um, I, I think I made some good additions on the waivers. Um, I'm trying to make a move. I feel like there's a lot of, uh, defamation going on. My name's getting dragged through the mud <laughs> and, uh, it's oh, just, I, you know, you know who you are. I, I hope you're listening to this, and uh, I just don't appreciate it. <laughs> He's real. Oh, moves are on the way for Camp Waters. Yeah, no, the explanation I heard was hilarious, but uh, yeah, mine. You know, I'm three zero. Like, uh, you know, Tommy said, I'm the league villain. Apparently, um, I guess that's what happens. Well, you know, when you hold the majority of the rings, and you know, yeah, Mahaney you felt some type of way last night. Bro, uh, that was, was like, that everyone, was. Freaking like, hilarious. You have the lowest amount of points against. And I was like, bro, but I have the second most points for. Like, you you act like you act like I'm not stepping up to the plate. It's not my fault if you can't, you know. And so I said, you know, maybe, you know, teams just, you know, they see the the, the two time champ and they get they get nervous. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But <sighs> um like I said it's, it's, early, in the, real, it's early in the it's season. A, I like early, my, early. I like my it's team. very early. It's I very love early. Early. I really ship. There's a real championship hangover going on in our league right so now. I, you know, Davey I, and I are sitting at the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. I have I have an honest uh honest fantasy question. Um at what point do you jump ship and like jettison the team uh you know, jettison the team uh ideology and get a new coach in there? Does it is it have to be like five weeks in? Or I say week four, four is my turning point. If I go zero and four, I'm making he- I'm making huge moves. Yeah, you might as well flip the whole team at that point and just yeah. like. If I start zero and four, I will be making a lot of moves, um, or yeah, at least looking I think, to. I think it depends on where you're at and what your outlook looks like. Because like, let's yeah. say, let's say, okay, so so to retract my statement, let's say I was three and zero, but to Carter's point, I did get very lucky. Like I did put up dud weeks and I just happen to play dud players every single time, which isn't the case. I've 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 put up solid numbers to win each week. Maybe not last week, but I still put up one forty, I think. And so I know there were some high scores, but um then I would have to look myself in the mirror and be like, okay, like yeah, I'm winning, but I shouldn't be winning. I need to make moves. You know what I mean? So I think it depends on like what the actual reality of your season has been. So like for Tommy he didn't need to make huge moves because he was in positions to win. He just got dealt a bad hand. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, yeah. Not, my quarterback time... scored like six points two weeks yeah. in a row. It's not time yeah. to hit the panic button quite yet. Actually. Yeah, see, that's so like, like my thing. Like the guy I'm playing this week, he's three and zero, oh, but he's won two weeks without clipsing a hundred. Yep. See, yeah, he's that's, screwed. That's basically what Carter was saying. I've done, yeah. mind you, when we played each other, he's we scored one sixty. So it's like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we went. The issue is. You know, we went and got Deshaun. We got, we got that Deshaun sucks. You had to camp. trade for Deshaun. I had to. I just sucks. picked him up on waivers. I love it. I don't love it, but our, our league likes to hoard QBs. Mine, yeah, right now, but it's well. No, my know. so my league is like. I, like don't you have Jordan thing, Love yeah. on your bench? I do. Yeah, like, what are you and, doing and with I Jordan Love on your bench? Because yeah. Luke, Luke has a tight end monopoly going on. <laughs> He's got Mark I Andrews mean, and Waller. Because yeah, look, and, at and some point I mean, season, word around the rumor is Laporta might be joining his camp too. I don't. Are know you that. are you playing one of them in the flex? Oh, no, no, no. I got I got I got killers in there. I don't need no. Those. Two years ago, two years ago, I played. I I came on. I came upon Mark Andrews, and I had Travis Kelsey. I played Andrews in the flex. This was like two years ago when they were both going crazy. Yeah, that that's different. I wouldn't do it just because Daniel Dimes on a weekly basis isn't trustworthy. But yeah. No, it makes sense. Sucks. Yeah, I, you you got to be ready. I like like I said, I like my core guys, and at the at, at week eight, someone's gonna need a tight end, and someone's gonna need a QB, and that's when that's when they come to you know, 
Luke's camp asking for something, and you know, I'm sure we can make a deal. Uh, just like Davey, he needed a QB. I had Kirk. Big deal. We made a Kirk's deal. that so, guy, uh, man. Wait, who'd you get for Kirk? Waller and Garrett Wilson, which you know they're talking about bringing in. Uh, they got some veteran QB over there, but they might get another name. You know what I'm saying? So Garrett Wilson stock might skyrocket right back up. So yeah, he's struggling. I mean, he's an elite talent. Him and Kyle Pitts are – I feel bad for them, man. I do not feel bad for Kyle Pitts. I wouldn't even know if I'd say Kyle Pitts is an elite Why, talent. bro? No, he's, he's an elite, elite talent. He just does not produce. He is not that's, a fantasy player. Bro, but that's why I feel bad for him. He's an elite talent because – and then his quarterbacks don't get in the ball. He's literally playing left tackle out there. That's that's not what he got drafted to do. Yeah, no. the Falcons literally only run the ball. Yeah, so it sucks, but that's why I feel bad. And same with Garrett Wilson. He's an elite talent with a QB that can't throw the ball. Who's good? I'm not hearing that on Pitts. Okay, that was that's a bad take. Uh, I don't know if you know ball. So let's get into the starting five. <laughs> so so I don't know if you guys agree, but the negative one banged. The negative one banged last time. Uh, with our overrated list, uh, a lot of yeah, controversy. I mean banged. I mean, of, yeah, I don't know. A lot of I don't, hate yeah. thrown around. Was there? Yes. Oh man. People ah, are... yeah. I got a few texts and phone calls. My J. Cole guys was list. getting slandered. Uh, I don't know. Let's I don't just know say why. Stacy was in disbelief at your list, Jared. Well, a lot of people know. hated Jared's, and then a lot of people hated my J. Cole. <laughs> um, a lot of people hated Jared. Did I get that... hate? I don't know if I got no, hate. Tommy. No. Oh, this is my point, hate, Jared. Right? I said I had a point that I wasn't going to tell you. Here's uh. my point, Tommy. You won. Now. I think that almost invalidates your list because the list was overrated thing. So if people agree with those takes, does that mean that they're not overrated? They're just rated exactly what they're supposed to be. Here we go. Mm. Luke trying to spin away. Of him. I no, love no, this. No, 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 you still won. You still won. All you right. still won. Tommy won Army list. full effect. No, no, no. This has nothing to <laughs> do with Tommy Army. Your guys' were garbage. No, this has nothing to you do with Tommy Costco Army. You have Costco on there, Jared. Yeah, that place sucks, Dude, and I will live that. Oh, my that but place what I'm sucks. Is, no, no, but the definition of overrated means that the consensus rating is better than what you think it is. But if for your takes, Tommy, everyone else believes in the same rating, does that mean it's overrated? Mm-hmm. I think your guys' lists were just that bad. I'm not going to no, lie. No, mine just had one killer. I think everyone uh, – So, Tommy, let me – can I ask cool. you a question before we move on? That, like, So, mm-hmm. you actively shop at Costco. Well, take the hot dogs out of the no, mix, bro. I don't actively shop at Costco. No. Okay. So, are you saying that that's a good place to shop or a bad place to shop? I have some news. I would by say, the way. That's fine. I would say, as a college student, Costco is definitely a very helpful place to go at, to go shop at. A okay. college student that doesn't have money that can't afford a membership to pay it's, more than what you I would mean, pay at going like, to Target. It's like. We- I don't want to like get fifty dollars a year, but we don't need to debate that. But buying in bulk is helpful. Like, I and mean, it, you got samples in there too. Like, it's Costco is just a good time. They don't do samples anymore. All right, so I have a look. What we talked about no, Costco last episode. Like, <laughs> I, I have, have some news. Have okay, some what? News. Well, let me hear, bro. Me and Tommy tied. Apparently, look, I'm looking at it right now. How can we have a tie? <laughs> okay, so was... does your point still stand, Luke? No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you're saying that my list should have my list is the most le- legitimate list no Dude, i'm I not think, hearing that i'm not no hearing i think i think yeah. my point still stands i think that my list except for the j cole uh take would fall into the similar argument as yours that j cole of, dropped some heat last night by the way look again i yeah. told people to listen on the graphic it looks like i'm saying j cole sucks did i say j cole sucks no i said he's good i just said he's not as yeah. good as what his fans say that's all yeah, he had some he had some he had a good verse last night with Lil Yachty. um but okay that's let's, a good let's get off it tom tom and i tied i won the walk on pick uh that's neither here nor there um we now, have now is your i love that pick. i can be the i love not that i can be anyway i love that i can be the anti-hero of the pod Self-proclaimed. That's crazy. Self-proclaimed <laughs> resident historian, anti-hero. Yeah. I don't know. So today we have starting five pet peeves. Um, and we defined pet peeves an hour before the episode as uh just things that bug you, things that irritate you, things that grind your gears, things that irritate you. Pet peeves. Um, again, leaves a lot of space for you know variability. Um, uh, look, I would I would love first pick. If if you guys give me the blessing, um, can I just make a whole team? Can I just do like? Do I have to just have five? Can I do like a whole team of four, like a roster of seventeen? Get a football roster out here. 
I don't have to Let's I, switch listen, it up. I, Am I left? I see tackle, Jared every day. I do not. I've got. <laughs> yeah, you probably are, could. You could probably call my list as it is. Dude, I've got a banger of a. I've got a banger of a pet peeve to throw at polling guard. If we want to go football roster. Okay. Um. But okay. My what, what do we want to order? Can I? Can I go first? Or no. Yeah, yeah, you can go, go first, first Luke. You won. Your list was do you the go most. Five? Yeah. Do you want to go five or do we want to serpentine? No, I said we serpentine this one again. All right. Just so like, right. if there are repeats, we can explain the repeats. But um, I'm not even going to have explanations for mine. I'm just going to tell you what pisses me off. Yeah. I'm uh, down. I'm down to do that. Tommy goes second. Jared goes third. All right, here we go. All so right, point let's rock. Um, man, this one, this is why I wanted to go first because I think it's one that, you know, might be on both of you guys' list as well because we've all talked about how much we hate it. Let's talk about gym socializing. I hate I hate people who go to the gym uh, for social hour and just sit there and chit chat, man. Okay, the gym is to go better yourself and, and grind and work on work on your body or whatever you're there to do. Stop going there just to to hang out with people. It's not what it's there for. So gym that's a good one. socializing is what I'm putting at my point guard. It's a good one. I feel like we're, I feel like we're all gonna enjoy each other's lists. Honestly, yeah, no, I, needed, I needed to get that one off. I like that one. All right, this one. My point guard. I'm honestly just going to specifically throw this one at you, Allie. I know you're listening to the pod. I can't stand people that read the plots of movies before they watch them or read what happens in television shows before they watch them. My sister is the guiltiest of the parties on doing this, and it makes me so annoyed. It bothers me so much. Like, why, why are you even watching the movie if you're looking up and you what, know happens what happens in the movie <laughs> like why are you even watching it if you know what happens i'll be we'll be sitting there we'll be I, we'll be sitting there when i was at her, when i was at her house when i was living with her a couple summers ago and i can see her on IM, imdb looking up the plot of the movie i'm like what are you doing yeah it bothers me bad. that bothers me take. really yeah i think it's a good take sorry Allie, but i had to come on Allie. you need some I know, suspense I know, in your I know life. a few people that do that as well Jared, uh, point guard. This is an easy one. Okay, people that drive in the far left lane at a <laughs> slow speed. <laughs> great, take. f you guys. That's f you point. guys. Yeah, that's. A good I take. will ride your bumper. I will honk my horn. I will pull the keys and I will flash my lights seventeen times. <laughs> You don't get your ass over. If you want to drive 60, there's three other lanes on the right side for you to do that. The Hell reason yeah. there's no accidents and traffic in Europe, because if you're in the far left lane, you're in the far left lane to pass and then get over. If there's yep. someone driving faster than you, then you get over. It is called the passing lane for a reason. So get out of the far left lane driving Anything below 75 miles per hour in California. Good take. All right. Shooting guard, right back to you, Waters. Oh, God. How much time do we have? <laughs> I, I want to say not that much. And coming in at the two, we've got Kane's barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Restaurants that don't carry barbecue sauce. No. This one, you know, I can say this because the people that are married on this, that listen to this pod, they're going to resonate with this. Yeah, listen to this pod. And Amanda doesn't listen to this, so I don't have to worry about getting in trouble. <laughs> I, new territory. Absolutely, Here we go. I absolutely hate, with a passion, anything, whether it's pantry, refrigerator, bedroom, when you put, don't put something back in the same spot where it's mm. supposed to go. And then you get mad at someone for not being able to find it. Mm. My keys go in the same exact spot every single night. My phone, when I walk or go anywhere, goes in my left pocket. My wallet goes in my right pocket. Every Interesting. Single I'm a right time. pocket phone guy. Yeah, I'm the opposite. Every single time. My phone charges at night in the same exact spot. So when I wake up in the morning, no matter what kind of crazy dream I had, I know exactly where my phone is going to be, and I'm not going to feel discombobulated. So I have my shooting guard. Luke, to make it easy, put things back in the spot where they belong. Yeah. No, it's going to be long. There's going to be sentences on these lists, you know, which is fine. This will be a tough tough one. Yeah. Amanda gets mad at me for not being able to find anything. Put things back in the same spot that you found them. Yeah, that's good. 
It's a good one. Um, my shooting guard. You know, Luke and I actually talked about this this week. Uh, it happened to me this oh, week. Oh, jeez. And have he, it irks the living crap out of me. We just talked about this. We just had a fantasy football segment. All right. Why are you accepting the trade only to go back and decline it 25 to 30 minutes later? All right. Don't accept the trade if you don't want the trade. Happened to me this week. I open up the app to see my trade was accepted. Only an hour to pass by, and the person to change their mind and decline the trade. All right. It's a pet peeve of mine. I can't stand when people do that. Stop doing that. Let the trade linger if you're not ready to actually do the deal. That feels that feels uh real relevant. Very personal, yeah. Uh, you know, I almost had Saquon Barkley. This is a little more personal, Jared. I almost had Saquon okay. Barkley and Sam Laporta in my camp. The the, the difference another league. is that the whoever he's talking about will hear this. Amanda won't hear this. No, I don't think this person will yeah, hear it. Honestly, that's different. Uh, not, that wasn't our league. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, got it. It's just. It's like, do, no, do you guys agree with me? Do you guys agree with yeah. me though? I mean, yeah. like, hundred percent. Oh, that's why. Honestly, but so for, for me, tell me if this is weird. I don't mean to steal your thunder here, Tom. I always have the text, like I have the handshake agreement before I send the trade. Yeah, but I'm yeah. sure that happened to Tommy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But then I got text receipts where it's like, bro, you look like why, like, it's bad know, business. Yeah, bad business. Um. All right. So my shooting guard. It's it's very fitting at the shooting guard. Um. And I'm sure Jared deals with this more than I do. Um. Actually, I'm I'm pretty positive of that. Um. I call this the Steph Curry effect. I hate hoopers that lace their shoes up and just start hucking up thirty footers without warming up. I think the no warm up thirty footers is is one of my <laughs> biggest pet peeves as a shooter myself, who is very meticulous with their warm up. That pisses me off. That pisses me off so much. Um, and it's the Steph Curry effect because you see it with 12-year-olds that wear the Steph Curry shoes, socks, shorts, mouth guard, everything. You know what I mean? So yeah. thank you, 30, for ruining that. But, yeah, you literally – like, literally. And, Jared, you, I know you go to Harbaugh Palace, you're going to see all these kids that just get there, lace up, and we're hucking up volleyball line threes and layup lines, and we haven't touched the ball all day. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, my bad. My three. I think I'm going to make – I'm going to keep this one at the three. Um, at the three, this is one that's probably going to be an unpopular opinion, and that's okay. I voiced this one to Jared before. Um, Tommy just hasn't had a chance for me to voice this one to him. But if we found ourselves on a golf course, we would – I would definitely voice it to him. My three is stopping at the turn uh, uh, during a golf round. This is my least favorite thing to do in, in, in golf. I hate when people go to either get a meal – or even like just a little thing, like whatever, bro, bring a water bottle and fill it up at the jugs. I, like we don't need to stop at the turn. You don't see me at halftime of a basketball game going and ordering a lunch. You know what I mean? Like all it means is all the end of the ninth hole means is it's time to go tee off at the ten. What about bathroom like, break? That I mean, I, I don't know. Man. You, you're you're I, just I the guy that's going to hit the bushes in the tenth hole. Bro, like it, we're in nature. It's cool, and mo- more often than not, there's going to be a bathroom stop every two to three holes. You can, yeah, we're grown men. True. We're grown ups. We can hold it. Like, bro, like it, the only the only time I think it's acceptable is in you know we've had a couple of these with you know our closest golf friends. Um, if you're running straight from work and you join us on the round and you order something on the seventh or eighth hole and you pick it up, I'll give you a pass because usually you're going to be quick and we're getting back to the tenth. But if you're going to spend a good 10, 15 minutes waddling around, ordering something, going to the bathroom, filling up your water bottle, buying something at the pro shop, whatever it is, bro, I hate it. You're killing all my mojo. You're killing all my game, bro. Like, I'm not with that. I'm Did like, I, I ever, I'm not I told at the turn. Tommy, I don't want to interrupt. Did I, I told you the story about what happened to me at Empire when those yeah, guys tried to jump yeah. in front of me after their tea time? They were like four tea times back. They've been eating the lunch for an hour right? and a half. I yeah, I'm fighting the next person that does that. I'm just letting you know. I just don't think I don't I don't like the practice. I don't like the yeah. pra- and that's why there's a halfway house at like big time courses in like especially over in the UK. Like there's not real like stopping at the turn. There's a bathroom in a in a snack shack. Yeah, that it's called a halfway house. Boom, you roll through and you're out. Just like when we play when we played Half Moon Bay, like they don't take you back to the clubhouse. There's like that little shack. Yeah. yeah. It's a halfway house. Bro. I'm not doing that, man. Like, let's go tee off, bro. I'm feeling good. I got I'm I'm already warmed up. I'm in rhythm. There we go. Tom, what you got, baby? Um I got a couple different ones I could throw at the three. I think I'm gonna go with 
this specific one though um because this one irks me a lot uh this, i guess this could be directed at some certain people you know who you are i can't stand the non-responders on text messages like you see my text oh, God, stop ignoring oh. me like and these are the type of people these are the type of people that have like a hundred plus unread messages and they blame it on forgetting they see the 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 classic excuse i've heard is oh you know i saw it and i responded in my head so i thought i responded i'm just not buying it i mean we're let's be real we're all on our phones this day and age everyone has their phone on them at all times i know you see my text i know you can respond and and not responding happens like people are busy i get that but like days at a time let's be real now, does this uh, also encompass group chat lurkers, as I like to call them? Yeah, you know, we might be we might be throwing a shot at Nick Mains right now. You know, I'll just throw it out there. Damn. The group chat lurker annoys me because, like, they, you know they're there, and then you address them, and they immediately answer, but it's like you couldn't have been, like, you know they're the there. conversation we had. You know, I've got another group chat. I've got another group chat right now. Um, we've got a lurker in it right now. Uh, I, I, I may or may not name a name. Might be Camp Shelton. It might not be. You know, it's it's. We've heard some radio silence from that guy the last few days, and I know he's reading those messages. I give him a pass. The season started. He's he's in zero dark thirty <laughs> mode. So I'm gonna. That's super him. fair. That was more. That was more jokes. But seriously though, like like normal text messages, like they the non responders bother me. Yeah, no, that's a good take. That's a good take. Waters. I have a more specific answer or That's good. small forward. So Tommy, I'm going to take your answer and I'm going to double down. Okay. This is my, one of my least favorite things. And even some of my closest friends are the most notoriously, like they do this the most. Don't respond to a text or don't call back, but post on social media or mm. do stuff on social media. So like, because you it. have to actively, okay, someone called me, I didn't answer. I have to actively open my phone, go to my app, click the app, and then start double tapping shit. Or, or sending stuff in the group. Like I have friends that will like, I'll call them because like, we need to talk about something. They won't answer. And then they'll send something in the group chat on social media. I'll be like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> what, what are, are you doing? doing? Yeah. Yeah. Feel that one. So dude. yeah, Feel I'm one. gonna double down with the social media interaction. Okay. Negating. Good uh, yeah. Yeah, so, that definitely bothers me. Yeah, that one's uh, yeah, that one's very annoying. That one bothers me a lot. Yeah, no, I think that's a really good take. Oh, so now it's like tough where I want to go with this. There's a lot of different options here. I think at power forward. Oh. I'm going to have to go with, see, I don't want to go with what Luke said, but I actually think the gym pick is probably one of my pet peeves. Not just socializing, but like, let me take the pick after I got 30 lukewarm jumpers up to let everybody know that I was in the gym mm. getting jumpers up. Yeah. And like, my favorite is so the, to clarify, you're talking about the the gym boomerang with the shoes and the hoop. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like it's something. The boomerang, I Jared. Where it's like the me. boomerang, Jared, is where it like it's a it's, it's like a video, but it's really a picture. Like I know a what a boomerang picture. is, but I'm saying like they flip flop between the shoes and the basket. What's the fucking point of that? No, but I'm saying that's what, what people will do. It'll be like that's what they do. Oh nice. yeah, I haven't Show seen that I haven't seen working. that, but like what's like I don't know. I don't like yeah. that. That's not, that's not, that's not anything that, uh, yeah, that's really annoying because if you actually guys made shots up is that you took pictures, then you probably wouldn't shoot the percentage that you shoot. Mm, bars. Wow. So that's all I'm saying. The percentages and the picks are not like getting hot. It's getting hot. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, yeah. At my four, you know, this is a loud one. All right. This is, this is like a Draymond Green of my lineup, if you will. 
um, for all the wrong reasons. All right. You know, I know, I know Luke hates this one. There may or may not be a nickname for what I'm about to say here. Luke, I think you might know what I'm talking about now. I've got loud volume in public places mm. or yeah. loud volume in an yeah. area where you should have headphones on. Or in right? a car or on a team bus. In a car, or... on a bus, yeah. on an airplane. I yeah. was literally I was literally on an airplane a couple months ago and the guy next to me was full blast watching TikToks and YouTube videos. So what obnoxious. the hell are you doing? That's, that's <laughs> Go to so sleep, obnoxious. read a book. Put some headphones in. I don't want to hear your TikTok. Yeah, that bothered me so much. And I know Luke knows about it. And I know you appreciate that pick. Yeah, that's good. I Put hate some headphones call. in. I hate the phone call. The in phone, a yeah. The, in, in a bus phone call with no headphones is crazy. No one wants to hear the nonsense you're talking about. But yeah, that's a good take. It's a, I'm, I'm actually mad I didn't think of that one. Um, but my power forward, um, the – on the surface, it's going to seem very um, generic, but I'll break it down. So I'm going to title it as lying about things that I can easily prove. Um, and, and what I mean <laughs> Oh, by my this, God. I love this. I couldn't figure out how to word that. That's exactly what I wanted to say. No, no, no. <laughs> what I mean, it, this happens in the hoop community way too much. Where right. either, Like the receipts uh, are there. Bro, don't lie to me about your career high because I could look your name up and it's going to pop up right here. Don't lie to me about your percentages, your numbers. It's right there. Like, bro, or people who do it on social media saying, like, I was this, 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 and this. I could look your name up, and bam, there's everything you were just lying about. This Public awesome. information that this I can just awesome. find out. Um, So I think lying about things that I can easily prove is the best way to put it. But, like, man, it happens too often in basketball, bro. I mean, I'm like, we've all had plenty of teammates where it's like, yeah, I was killing this team, bro. I had, like, 25 30 man you go look they had 14 off of six free throws like you weren't killing bro like you weren't killing man like so yeah i hate that i hate that that's one of my whew, that was a big one um now my center this is this one's short and sweet i don't really gotta say much it just if you know me you know it's not my thing um pda pda at my center uh, mm. it's, it's it's literally my least favorite thing in the world yeah. um and so there's not much to say about it people do it i hate it that's that's what it is. So, PDA. Everybody show. shows love in different ways, Lucas. <laughs> Just keep rebounding. PDA. Uh, that's about as much PDA as I'll do. Um. This just came to mind. Oh, literally geez. right now, like literally right now. This is this is off the dome because we've had a lot of basketball pet peeves. And I was like, you know what? I need to add a basketball pet peeve. This is a basketball podcast. Um, you know, we've had a lot of conversation about this on this, uh, pod, uh, Jared especially likes to come at me for my take on this. I know Luke might not love it. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Um, I've got foul baiting. Give me foul baiting at my five. <laughs> I like it's a pet peeve of mine. I, I'm glad you did that, man. I'm really it's glad. accurate for, you, for my really camp. It's accurate for my camp. I'm glad I thought of it. I've got the uh, you know, the rip throughs, the uh, all that, all that jazz. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Um, people say it's a skill. I think drawing fouls is a skill in its own way. I absolutely do. But the way I'm talking about is not a skill. It's not basketball. Yeah, I like that. Good play. That's really on brand for you. All right, Waters. Let's let's let's. Wrap all right, up, at my center. I, I made this one my center because it's all encompassing, all sports, all like anything that takes physical ability. I hate when people try to teach someone else how to do something. When you look at their form, it's complete garbage. Mm. Mm. Like talk about it. Teaching me how to swing a golf club, and then I look at your swing and you're starting like this. Or your jumper and you shoot like Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Like, don't talk to me about shooting or teaching someone. Like, it's cool. If you want to shoot that way, if you want to, like, be that guy, like, you want to have the awkward golf swing that ends up on Zyre Golf that everybody makes fun of, that's fine. But don't try to sit here and teach other people. And to double down on that, that's why I wear head headphones when I go to the driving range now. Because it's a guarantee that I will be just focusing on trying to focus – 
you know, be some jackass in my right ear talking to somebody else about, yeah, you need to do this, this, or this. And then you watch them swing and they top their driver a hundred yards down the flareway. It's a good take. It's a really yeah. good take. Now for my walk on these walk ons, because this can go this, yeah. yeah. I had a lot of different options here. And I feel like it would be best to be on brand for me. So my walk on pick, this guy, he plays a very small role in the realm that he that he lives in. But God, it irks me to no end because of how pointless it is. Give me the stoplight at the on ramps. Stoplight at the on ramps. I hate those. The literally the one by my house, I drive by it every day, contemplating coming back at 4 a.m. with a baseball bat and breaking it. That's crazy. Because the light, <laughs> the light runs. 24 hours a day. Oh my gosh. It'll be 10 30 at night. No cars on the freeway. And I gotta stop at this red light. No, I'm not stopping at this. This one does. Oh, okay. I yeah, like, I've I seen like, I I've seen like I see a lot that turn off. I yeah, hope, yeah know, I don't stop. Like, man, let's let's I mean, I mean we don't we don't want to get you in trouble or anything. Yeah, I don't want to incriminate, but like but I've never seen Jared stop with this and I've been in the car with him. Yeah, that's fair. A multitude of times at this specific I'm with you on that, Jared. There's no okay. But let let me just can I just do some science here? I don't want to I don't want to go on too much. But like, if I'm getting on the freeway from a dead stop turning left, I have to go from zero miles per hour to get up to the speed of traffic. Everyone that I'm trying to merge with is already going at a rate of speed at least above sixty five miles per hour. You think? Why would I want to stop in the middle of me trying to get up to the speed of traffic to only start the process over again with less space? That only causes more traffic. It is literally the dumbest invention in driving. Good take, man. It's a good, good take. take. Good take. Um, my walk on. I guess. I guess this could go ahead and be like a, a subdivision of the non-responders, uh, one. But but not really. I've got the uh, I've got the call me people that have their phone on do not disturb. Mm. <laughs> right, they tell me to call them I call you and it goes straight to voicemail every single time I call you it's like okay whoa, what, are, what are we doing here All right, why am I calling you if I'm not going to be able to get a hold of you got to hit that double call I do this and, and, and it doesn't notify go through anyway. yeah I don't know bothers me that stuff bothers I'm trying to get a hold of someone and I just hear the voicemail over and over again I get I get pissed that's okay. fair I'm not mad though uh, my walk on and my walk on easily could have been in my starting five. I'm I'm treating my walk on more as a six man this episode. Um, Jamal Crawford style. Yeah, I just you know I'm saying this this guy pisses me off. Um, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna even word this on the graphic. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But give me the people on airplanes who are in the back that try to bore uh, try to get off the airplane <laughs> way before all the people. <laughs> and that was gonna be on my list. Those people are, are the That's worst. A good one, dude. I hate those people. <laughs> those are the worst people in the world. Because, bro, what? Where are you going? Like, you're not gonna get off. And maybe it's, more than bro. Like, where are you going, bro? And, Nobody's and gonna let like, you. Like. Everyone not else is trying the doors, to do the man. same thing you're doing. Like, you're more bro, important than them. Just sit your ass down and wait your turn, bro. Jared and I have these conversations all the time. You learn this in school. You sit there and you wait your turn and you be patient. <laughs> all right, man? Don't bring that up. Bro, I'm just saying, man. Like, like these are these are basic things. Like, if you're in the back of the plane, you're going to wait for the people ahead of you to get their stuff and go. Don't get up and start taking your stuff out because you're not yeah. getting off the plane before the people ahead of you. I don't care how motivated or how aggressive you are. They're not no, going to let it happen. happen. No, I've seen bro. it happen. I'm throwing I've seen people. Bro. I've, I've, I've seen, I saw some crazy. I've seen, I've seen some, some ladies. I've seen some year, ladies man. really thug like seven rows. You know, and, and it's funny to only, too because to only like, have to stop and wait for them to open the door. Yeah, bro, it's like, so stupid. And the thing is, I, I think. This like it, it's it's so relevant because the past six years of playing college basketball were more often than not you're traveling for full days at a time. So I'm already irritated with the person, you know, breathing next to me because I'm like, get me off this plane. Right. But I'm going to sit there and wait. But then you got Tweedle Dumb over here. That's like, right, I'm just going to bull rush my way up. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> sit down, dude. Sit down. And I've had ah, plenty man. of teammates who are culprits of this. So. 
You know, can I get yeah. an honorary? Can I get an honorary? I, I, I also I have, want. I also okay, we want can let's we get we could throw an honorable mention. Okay, in. I want to. Um, I have mention. one that Jared sparked for me. Yeah, good good vibes. Um, iPhone upgrades in general. Oh wow, yeah, you do rock like the six S. I have a twelve. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's just a twelve mini, so it looks like a six. But Jared yeah, still has bro. a home button on his iPhone. Oh man, I miss. You know how mad I was when I had to get rid of my home button. I missed the whole bunch. Yeah, bro, I'm tired of them trying to kill my phone off just so you can take another thousand of my dollars. Like, you really Facts. need my money that bad? Like, all Facts. of a sudden, if I do the upgrade, it just, my battery dies in two hours. And They're it's so like, lame, too. Like, they stopped it, including the headphones and the, the new yeah. phone, too. Well, I don't even yeah. want the AirPods because those suck, but. It's, that's a it's another conversation, man. Yeah, another but yeah, iPhone, iPhone upgrade, just like trying to kill my phone. That's I just yeah. need the honorary. I didn't have enough space for him. Uh, he yeah. really worked hard at tryouts. He earned a yeah, two way. Good guy. Good one. Good guy. My my two way guy. I wanted to throw in there. I've got, you know, in in our gym where defense calls fouls, I've got the hack on defense that will never call a foul. That's oh, my Owen that, Okay, don't do that, <laughs> dude. Don't that do that. One time, bro. <laughs> that's who I've got, and these people know who they are. They're out there. They're out there chopping forearms off. And not saying a word. Um. Yeah, that's good. I got one that Jared sparked in my mom. This this is probably more her pet peeve than mine. Um. And I'm probably guilty of it. Just, you know, full transparency. I'm probably guilty of it. But I hate when people finish something out the pantry and then they put the empty box back in. <laughs> um, that's, oh that's, yeah. You're, you're you're some of the worst people in the world. Apparently, I don't know who it was. I don't want to name names. And and Jared and Davi don't name names as well. Because it's pretty easy to figure out, but uh, apparently someone left it, uh, like a smidge of milk in the car this morning. I don't know who it was, but uh, yeah, you, like bro, don't do that. <laughs> don't. Oh, those people uh, over there. That's a funny one. That's a funny. On one. top so of that, the guys, that and she can be like that's that, you, but it's fine. People that see the trash cans full and keep stacking it. Yeah, I'm guilty of that sometimes. So it's yeah. fine. No, that's not me. But I do hate it. Uh, but yeah, that's a good man. you hate it, but you're a culprit. <laughs> I'm a culprit, man. I, I'm not afraid to uh, admit I'm a culprit of some things. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's yeah. that's just. I feel like that gives me validation for being more annoyed about these other things. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know, that's fair. I know when I do some of these other things. You know, uh, that's, yeah. That's I mean, cool. I definitely, I definitely fall under some of my pet peeves. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's okay. I foul beta recently. Um, so Jared, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I wish, man. I wish <laughs> no, I could get fouls like that. <laughs> oh, that was just out of jealousy. Mm. You put that. <laughs> um, my oh, bad. No, nah, Tom's not, not foul beta. He's not. Uh, Jared, what you got for us, brother? Oh man. Well, we talked about some pet peeves. Americans are struggling right now in the Ryder Cup. They must Say not be least. getting their 50 chips tonight. And some people like to feel like they're out on a Sunday drive. But that pisses me off every single night. Did you rhyme night with night? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Not your best word. That one was off the dome. I could tell. I like that I one. I had to I mix mean, it look, up. Here's the thing, man. They're getting smacked. Actually, you know, at, at the time of the recording, I haven't been looking. They they may be making a comeback. Right? Don't don't no, say because I'm about to go watch back from when it. Oh, started, you so started? Don't. Okay, I just want to yeah, look because I want to know. But I yeah, won't. Don't spoil I won't say it for me. But um, yeah, you know, maybe day two they're making a push. Uh, hopefully, you know, Captain Zach. They just Johnson. they just started. Yeah, like twenty minutes ago, I want to say maybe one pairing yeah. is off. Dude, but, they yeah. haven't. Okay, but Kim, like we're done. But like, bro, they haven't won one pairing. Yeah, they've only halved three of them. Oh my gosh, dude! They're just yeah, kidding. They're getting washed, man. But it's yeah. fine. Hey, there's two more days. Something magical could happen. Uh, yeah, all right. You know, I love watching um, golf, so we're here. Yeah. Hey, I love the uh, starting five. That was awesome. Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. That was Move. a good one. We can keep firing off negative starting fives. I like them. It allows us to be a little more. Yeah, um, that's your blood boil. Exciting. Uh, you know, hopefully, yeah, I, I have not I, I, I know stuff. Luke. I have a Luke. Luke didn't say it, but I have an honorary Luke where he has to explain things multiple times because multiple people ask him the same questions. You know, it's so funny you said that. Um, again, when my parents listen, they'll they'll probably laugh at that. Yeah, that's because they call me on a regular. <laughs> yeah, and get the same 
No, yes. they call me on the regular because they're scared to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, hopefully we'll be explaining things here soon. Um, with that being said, these are your favorite walk-ons, and we're walking out.